this time. Really nice looking fish. Wow, that's a trophy. That's a hog! Woo! Nice job, you two. There we go. Lund Boats proudly presents the ultimate fishing experience. This week on Lund's The Ultimate Fishing Experience, we're heading to the land of the Nipigon. Lying just north of Lake Superior, this lake is huge. It's 80 miles long and 50 miles wide with depths that reach over 500 feet. Although it is a drive-to destination, its massive size provides a true wilderness experience and would take a lifetime to fish it all. So it's a good thing that we'll be joining Lund Pro staffer Gord Ellis and his father Gord Sr. with decades of experience on this intimidating lake. There we go. Yes. Good job, Sr. Lake trout, northern pike, whitefish, the world famous brook trout, and good times are why this father and son duel head to Lake Nipigon year after year. It is a true monster brook trout. There's very few places in the world that have them this big and even fewer that you can drive to. Hi there, I'm Gord Ellis. Uh, we're here in a beautiful Quebec Lodge on the shores of Lake Superior. Uh, today we're gonna go up to Lake Nipigon, which is about an hour north of here, fish for some big lake trout, do some trolling, maybe fish for some pike and brook trout. I got my dad with me, Gord Sr., who's a ringer, and we're looking forward to having a great day, right? Indeed we are. All right, let's go we get them. We usually do. So we're here, it's uh, early July, typically, the lake trout fishing starts in early June to mid-June. Uh, that's when the lake trout uh, starts setting up on these big main lake humps and, and big structure. And, and one of the coolest things, Dad, about this fishery is that besides the great lake trout, um, there's a huge pike close by. Oh yeah. And then of course, uh, one of our favorite fish, uh, brook trout, speckled trout. I mean, Lake Nipigon has the biggest brook trout in the world. The world record came from the system. They're right there too, right? So we can uh, we can try that out. You can you can fish for trophy lake trout, trophy pike, and trophy brook trout. I don't think there's a whole lot of places in the world where that reality is, is exists. And and drop a pro V in and do it, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I know it's exactly. pretty awesome. Well, note to self, uh, Dad, if you're going down a bush road and you're in the middle of nowhere, bring a saw, because uh, we just had to move a tree to, to go fishing. But we did it, right? We Good. did it. So here we are, beautiful Lake Nipigon. So the program is today, we're going to uh, head out into the big lake here on Lake Nipigon and uh, hopefully troll for lake trout. It's a little lumpier than I like to uh, fish the open water. So it can be a little bit tricky sometimes to, to fish properly, but what I'm gonna do is gonna hit some of my prime spots out here and uh, see if I can control the boat properly and, and pick up some lake trout. That's our primary objective. If it doesn't pan out after a couple hours, we'll move uh, out of the wind a little bit and into some reef areas and throw for some big pike. And there's some huge pike in this lake. And if, uh, if a brook trout shows up, which they sometimes do in the same area, so be it. And even lake trout. So the water's really cold still. Uh, it's been cold all spring. So uh, we'll give that a go and uh, see what happens. Beautiful day out here, sun's shining. But uh, north wind is uh, it's a little lumpy. There's a fish. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that's actually a really small one. <laughs> it, it, it certainly that's, is. But that's, we're, he's, he's in we're, kindergarten, that boy. We're not, beggars can't be choosers right now. And uh, any lake trout is a good lake trout. <clears throat> of course, the spoon is about as long as he is. <laughs> that's hurtful. <laughs> There's a fish. There we go. Okay, that's about an inch bigger than that other one. <laughs> that's right. We're moving in the right direction. <laughs> we have to wait for the ultimate fishing show to catch the two smallest lake trout ever caught on Lake, lake Nipigon. <laughs> so this is a special day for us to <laughs> come out right. here and really get the small ones, you know? Well, we've been out here for a couple hours and we're gonna switch tactics. We're gonna go shallower and try for some big pike. Ready to switch it up there, senior? Or what? For me? Yeah. I'm ready for anything. You're ready for anything. Yep. 
Closed captioning is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. So we're just switched up tactics a little bit and we've moved into the a shallower area. This is basically a bar off of an island that goes to a mainland point. It's a rock bar mm. and uh, caught literally just about everything you can catch in Lake Nipigon here. I've caught lake trout here, brook trout, uh, northern pike. I caught a brown trout here one time. There's very, very few brown trout in Lake Nipigon, but I did catch one here one time. But the water is freezing. It's somewhere between 41 and 44 Fahrenheit on the surface, which is extremely cold. It's like ice out cold. So like the, the uh, water temperature we would have had a month and a half ago. And I can only assume it's because there was a big south wind that blew it. So it's definitely affected the fish and uh, where they're at. I mean, normally in the spring they would be here. So if it's same water temperature as spring, theoretically we should be able to get them here. There's a fish. Well, I just threw this, uh, got a jig. It's a, oh, nice, nice looking fish. Um, it's a rubber body and I just threw it off this reef. We've been working it really slow. Big brook trout. Yeah, get that net ready. Just working it along the edge there and this guy just crunched it. Okay. <laughs> this trout is way, way bigger than the lake trout we were catching. This is a beauty. <laughs> that's true. Oh yeah, this is a tank. Yeah, that's oh, a big fish. fish. Yeah, this is a, that's this is a really yeah. big fish. This is a heavy fish. Okay, okay. Wow. So just just put it in the put the net in the uh, water, Dad. Okay. <laughs> well he's this he's is hard he's, on my heart. He's, he's not coming to the net, shall we say. Yeah, you might have to you might have to no, just hang on. Alright, alright, oh. alright. Alright. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> this is really hard on my heart. <laughs> that is really, really hard on my heart to see a big fish like that. And we had a couple passes at it, right. but we got it. Look at that brook trout. Oh, that oh, is an that, absolute tank. That is a trophy of all trophies man, right oh, there. Man. Did you get the picture, Dad? Yep. So this is, uh, you know, this is a trophy brook trout. And Lake Nipigon is known for its giant fish. Um, this is a fish of a lifetime for most people. It is a true gigantic uh, monster brook trout. There's very few places in the world that have them this big. And even fewer that you can drive to, that you can put a Pro V in and uh, fish for. Uh, I just love this body of water and I love these fish. They're absolutely spectacular. And this guy's gonna go back in and uh, hopefully make some babies, some giant brook trout babies. Yeah, so I was uh, fishing with this uh, setup, basically just, it's just a, a minnow body with a, a, a very plain jig head. And the steel leader's on here, because this is a jig I would normally use for brook trout or trout in particular, but because I've, I've caught tons of pike on it, I think, well, we're targeting pike, I'll put a steel leader on. But I thought, well, maybe not the best idea for brook trout, but uh, that giant brook trout didn't seem to care that there was a steel leader on. So I'm just going to leave it on and uh, keep fishing, and maybe we'll hook up with some pike, maybe another brook trout. Bob well, just make, made the observation that he didn't offer me one of those. And I'm hurt by that. I'm hurt by that comment. <laughs> anyway. Doubly hurtful. Anyway. I got a fish on, guys. Dad's got one on. <laughs> Hang on, Dad. <laughs> Silent but deadly off the back. Oh yeah, nice one too. Okay, this, yeah, you just... Come to Daddy. Come to Daddy. Come on now. Nice Come fish, Daddy. Dad. Beauty. Wow, they are up on this reef in a big, bad way. I think just the super cold water with a warm day has just activated them. You got trout coming right up here. Okay, slide. He's coming now. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Good job, senior. 
Another tank. Holy. Well, that's a beauty, Dad. You know what? I saw him coming for about 20 feet wow. after that thing. Well, it's interesting because while you were fishing, I saw at least two swim off in the other direction. So there's a few fish here. Uh, again, like these brook trout are, they're on fire here. They're up shallow on really cold water on a warm day. And I caught on a jig fly, which is really cool. That's a bucktail uh, jig made in Terrace Bay, Ontario by Mighty Mitch Jungle Joe Jig Flies. Great, great bait. Okay, let that beauty go. Now we're gonna put this sweetheart back in this lake, beautiful Lake Nipigon. Because that's where he was born, and that's where he's gonna die. See you later. Good job, Dad. It's almost as much pleasure in releasing it as it is catching it. I know, it's true. There's something, something about yep. that. Pike will have to wait. <laughs> Rookie bite is on. So the uh, Pro V1875 is, is just about the perfect boat for what I do. I fish for everything, all different species. Like in the last three days, I fished for uh, Chinook salmon on the Nipigon River in heavy current. And then uh, we've been up on Lake Nipigon here the last couple days. We were trolling deep and now we're up on reefs. And this boat, it's designed as a great fishing boat, uh, a huge platform front and back, awesome live wells, tons of storage in in this boat uh, and stability. I mean, when we're all on the side of the boat netting a, f a fish, the boat doesn't move. You know, you're not worried about falling in. Um, the fit and finish of, of Pro V is unmatched. It's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful boat. Uh, you know, you, you're proud of it when you fish out of it and it's so fishable. And I use it in just about every scenario. Like this weekend, I'll be in a, in a tournament. As far as a, as a fishing boat, I can't imagine a better choice th than this one. Dad, we're gonna go and catch a pike. I know. Okay. As long as you know. Okay. Snake pit. Snake pit. Yeah. So this year I'm running a, a Mercury four-stroke 200 horsepower. It's a new motor to me. I've been running Verados for the last eight, eight years. And I really like this motor. It's uh, got a lot of power. It's ultra quiet and uh, very, very low emissions. And it's been uh, quite, uh, quite good on gas so far. And I, I just think it pushes this boat particularly well. So it's kind of neat to have a different Mercury on the back this year. There's a big pike sitting right there. Yeah, so, um, I see it right there. there yeah. Those are big fish. Holy crap. They Isn't are big that? fish. Oh, yeah. Yes. There you go. Yes. You got them. Yeah, you got them. Okay. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, crap. He was never hooked. He ate it. He ate it, but he I never, never got hooked. the hook in him. No. We can see this pike in this, the bottom here, and one eye was white, the other one was good, and I couldn't get the <laughs> rig to him, so I cast on his good eye, and, and his he good just eye, bang. He ate it. Yeah. So cool, but I couldn't, didn't hook him. No, that's right. Oh, there's one. No, I, damn it. There was one, but. Two pike. I didn't bring him home to daddy. There's one. That's a better one. <laughs> okay, it's just uh, through this paddle tail into what's really just three or four feet of water here. And this is a, a spot I usually fish in the spring. Oh, that's a pretty good pike. Um, and he came up and uh, grabbed that. Uh, that's a spirit. Grabbed that paddle tail. Dad, you want to net this one? Sure. I should be there within 15, 20 that's minutes. That's okay. You know, no rush. No, he's coming in. He's. Okay, let's get that bad boy in there. There we go, beauty. We got him. There we go. All right. Interesting. Yeah, like I've never actually fished in this creek oh. this time of year. And uh, the water is so unusually cold in the lake. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty skinny, but uh, he's in here eating minnows. Ate that paddle tail right up. And uh, yeah. July pike in two feet of water. Cool. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Off he goes. Oh. Well, have a look. <laughs> nice. Like a Christmas tree. 
You're yeah. lethal with that net. <clears throat> 55 years of fishing together. Just a well-oiled team. Got him. I think you've got this guy hooked too. I think I do. Yeah. Look how black that dude yeah, is. Yeah, he's black. Wow, you're talking about safe fishing? That's safe fishing. <laughs> like I literally placed, planted that thing like about two inches from his nose and he yes, said, you did. yeah, okay, I'll eat it. Okay. That, that thing is a black pike. Look at it. Holy. Yeah, what's with that? Yeah, we'll put the net to this one, Dad. Okay. But, you, you, I mean, you talk about placing it on its, like, right in front of it. That was right in front of it. This so guy's cool. black is cool. I know. It's so cool. All right. I can't reach him. It's coming for you. There we go. There we go. Cool. Oh. Look at that thing. How cool is that's that a, fish? That's a prize right there. That is a cool fish. It is. Wow. He's, he's not okay, all. let's bring him in here, Doug. He's not happy about this. Let's just lift him right up here. There we go. I can't. <laughs> that big? It's not that big, he's is heavy. it? He's heavy. Oh. He's really heavy, actually. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So cool. We've been fishing the shallow river mouth for about an hour and seeing all these big pike and having a hard time getting them to go. And, uh, oh, yeah, he ate that paddle tail. What a cool fish. Most unusual. So dark. Nice. So cool to sight fish him. And uh, he ate it. He didn't go far for it. Neat, neat, neat. Thank you, Pike. That was awesome. What a good looking fish. Beautiful. Two feet of water. Nice. Surprise, eh? Well, Dad, as cool as that was seeing all those big pike in there in here, why don't we go and try to stick another speck? And never fish too long for specks. Okay. Let's do it. I like, I like how you think. So one of the cool things about Lake Nipigon, besides the fact that it's huge, is that it's uncharted. There's no chart for this lake. So I have a Humminbird Helix 9 and it's a it's a great unit but one of the things i use the most is the auto chart live and auto chart live is a, is a program that allows you to chart the bottom as you're fishing so there's this zero line card you put in your unit it gives you the outline of lake nipigan and a bunch of lakes and you fill in the blanks basically so right now we're going over an area that's 19 20 feet i'm uh, making a chart of it and I fish Lake Nipigon so much, I'm getting a really good map of the lake. But there's still big chunks of it I haven't filled in, in fact, where we are right now. So I'm literally right now making a chart of the lake. It's an unbelievably great feature. It's fantastic for this lake. It's great, I think, for lakes all across North America. Uh, and I highly, highly recommend it. I use it all the time. Got one. And a boy. Senior. Okay, Dad, I'm just getting you to back up. I'm going to grab the net there. I'm the daddy. Very sweet. Get it on the side. Oh, I'll be darned. Well, we've been wanting one of these all yeah, day. Well, so. that's, yeah, we've been seeing them jumping all over the place. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Nice one, too. Okay. That's a nice white fish. Nice one. Well, we got, uh, it's been a multi species day. And uh, we have the, the final of our multi-species here, which is a whitefish, lake whitefish, which are very common here in Lake Nipigon. We've been seeing them dimpling on mayflies all day. We've been visibly seeing them. And then dad just got this really nice one on a jig fly. Good fighter. These are beautiful fish, actually great eating. Anyway, it's been a great day, <clears throat> dad, super fun. I might add he's well hooked. Yeah, he is well hooked. Yeah, he is. He's not going not in. Dad, you want to let him go or? Yep. Well, we've been Come trying, over here. To, trying to nail it. Do, do you want me to let him go? Go ahead and let oh, him go. Oh, okay. Sure. I thought you said you want to let him go. <laughs> well, you want to know if I wanted to let <laughs> it go, and I said yeah. Oh, okay. So. It's a fish. Mm. Yep. This is no weighty. Right off the very tip there. I don't know what the heck it is. It's something big. 
Whatever it is, got some beef. <laughs> yeah, it does have some beef. Where's the beef? Where's, show me the beef. The heck? Yeah. Oh, it's a big pipe. A pipe. It's a big pipe. Yeah, big pipe. Yeah. Hey, there. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Look out. Sorry. Oh, yeah. They're all here. Holy Everything. Crap. Okay, there we go. Yeah, baby. We got them. Right on. Well, there, uh, there's a good looking Lake Nipigon pike that caught just off of a reef where we caught, uh, caught brookies before, but uh, he was sitting there and, I mean, we've done everything today. We've caught brook trout, caught whitefish, caught a couple acres, a couple pike. Pretty fun, right? A day to dream of and a day to remember. Just had a fantastic hit. Oh, oh, oh. Was it really fantastic or just fantastic? It was really fantastic. Extra fantastic. Well, maybe I can catch him for you. See, see what I see what I'm facing, Mike. <laughs> I, have, I, have this, I have this fantastic hit right. Instantly, my son is into the same water with a different lure. That's dirty pool. It's not right. Not the way to treat your father. Is that right? Really? Maybe it, it could it be the way you raised them, senior. That's right. No. It's not I was that raised at all. by raised by wolves. Thanks for joining us. If you'd like more information, check out lundboats.com or these other online outlets.